Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the MicroStation Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant at Bentley Systems. And this video is the first in a three-part series on the Populate tool. In this video, we will be looking at the Populate tool to place a single object on a surface in the station model. Now, you can see that I have my drawing loaded already. I've got three views set up that are essential to the Populate command. The first thing that I want to talk about is you want to do a populate in a top view. I do have two other views open. So my view one is a top view. My view two is a perspective. And then I also have a front elevation. And I'm looking at the platform and the area that I'm going to populate trees so we can see them come up in that. One of the things to do when using the populate command, you have to make sure that when you're placing the objects in your drawing, you have to be in the top view, and that data point has to be above the surface that you're trying to populate. This area over here to the left, the green area that I'm highlighting right now, is going to be populated with trees. And then this area down here where the bus station is, we're going to populate with people. So we have to make sure that our active Z is above the object that we're populating, the surface or the solid or the mesh. Uh, whatever we're putting on there, we have to be above that. We're going to show you how to do that first and take a look. And I'm going to show you what happens if it's not correct. Right now, we are going to check to see where our slabs are in elevation. But I'm in my element selection tool, and I'm going to hit the left button and the right button at the same time. That's called a tentative point, And that's going to snap to an object that I'm hovering over. So I'm snapping to that curve right there. And if you take a look at AccuDraw, you see the Z is listed as a negative 0.17. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to check this area here. So I'm going to snap on this curb here, and you can see that that is at Z of 0. So we want to be above that, and we're going to show you how to set that. But I also want to show you how, what happens if it's not set properly. Let's go to the Visualization Workflow, the Home tab, and we are going to go to the Populate command. It's in the Utilities group. Let's pick a single person to populate. I'm going to select Tessa here. I'm not going to turn on Paint Surface because I just want to place one character. This one is Populate Single. Right now, I believe my Z is set at a negative 10. We're in meters here, so it's at a negative 10 meters. So I'm going to kind of zoom in here, and I'm going to enter a data point on top of this surface. And you can see the status bar kind of go to the right, and then you hear that bling. I got an error on that. And you can see the error down here in the message center. Let's just bring up the message center so we can read that. It says, identify point on surface for placement origin. What's happening here is, since my active Z is set at negative 10, it's below that slab. That slab is at zero. You remember I said you have to be above that slab in order to populate that? So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set the height above that. Now, you don't want to get too high above it. Let's go ahead and dismiss the populate command, and we're going to bring up the key in window. It's very, very simple. It's done with the key in. It's right here in the primary group. And we're going to check the active Z first. In the key in window, I'm going to type in AZ equals question mark. I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to left click in my top view. Now you can see down here in the message center, it says view one active depth equals minus 10. If I place a point here, I'm 10 meters below that surface because that's at zero. This one over here we saw was at negative 0.17. So if I set my active Z to zero, I should be okay for all the surfaces in here. So in the key in window, we're going to type in AZ equals zero, hit enter, and then left click in view one, the top view. And you can see down here it says active depth equals zero. Now 
let's try our populate. So we're going to populate people. We're going to do Tesla again. Alignment, you want vertical all the time if you're doing a top view. Paint surface, if I'm going to paint a bunch of people on there, I'll show you how that works. We're just going to do a single where our units are in meters. And we're just going to enter a data point here. Now you should see it come up over here in this view. There it is right there. So there is Tessa. I didn't get the error, and that's because my active Z was set properly. This was using the populate tool to place a single person on a surface in the station. Thank you for watching. Look for part two in this video series on the populate tool, and I will see you in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.